Yo, what is up YouTube? Back here with another video, Just the Justice, you already know. Back with the weekly uploads and I'm here with my fellow roommate, Jim Bro, Part and time, baby. Warrior Christ, Riser Fit. So, we're going to be doing a 48 hour fast. Two days, no eating, no consumption of any calories whatsoever. There's a shit ton of benefits, health benefits, mental benefits, spiritual benefits. So we're all going to dive into those deeper into the video. But for now, we're finishing our last couple of calories. Also, David Lay did do this. And we just actually watched the video as a little inspiration. David Lay is a legend. Obviously, mm -hmm. he's the OG of fitness. He literally started it all, so why not, you know, do what he did. And we've never seen really any other fitness influencer or anyone in the game, I think, do a fast. Yeah. So, I'm excited. And also, you. shout out to Kino Body. He actually got me into fitness. And I started off getting into fitness by fasting. I would fast without trying to, like, get shredded. And that was one of the ways I'd fast the first 16 hours of my day and only eat in that eight hour window. And that was my first year of lifting and that's how I got into health and fitness was through fasting. And it talks a lot about it in the Bible too. So like there's a lot of benefits to fasting. So uh, the most I've ever done is 24 hours. So I figured let's just do 48 hours. Roger said he'd tag along, do it with me. So I said, fuck well, yeah. Well, let's I'm always down for anything guys, yep. remember that. I think the longest I've fasted is like really just a full day from like probably 8 a.m. to like almost midnight, mm -hmm. so maybe like 12, 14 hours. Uh, but it's really not that bad, honestly. Like once you kind of get over a little hump of, I guess, the hunger, it kind of goes away. I feel like at some point, then you just don't really think about it. Apparently too, 48 hour fast uh, slows down your aging process. So, you know, we might be living, we do this frequently, might live a couple hundred years. Yeah. People in the bottle did it. Could you? <laughs> No, but for real, there are some people that just don't even eat food. They just live and just don't even eat food. Can you even think about that? Your body can survive 30 days without eating food. Why? Why can we survive 30 days without eating food? Are we meant to eat every day? Are we meant to wake up hungry? So there's some things to think about and definitely some things I'll be thinking about when I'm deep into the fast and need any motivation because if Jesus can go... 40, how many days ago? 40 days. 40 days in the desert without any food. Or water, I think. Then I can go freaking 48 hours. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Amen. Gotta kind of channel our inner heaviness. Mm -hmm. We're probably not gonna take any pre workout. We might have some black coffee, just wanna make sure it doesn't break your fast, because zero calorie black coffee actually does not break your fast and it keeps you in ketosis. So we might run that as our pre workout yeah. and just have that as our energy source throughout the day. But then that, we're just gonna be drinking natural spring waters. What do you think is going to be the toughest thing? Just your hunger? Or... I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what to expect, honestly. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I know it's going to be the, a big mental game because I know for a fact my body can sustain itself for 48 hours with no food. And if anything, it's probably going to benefit me. Yeah, it's all mental. Really. So I really don't think hunger or anything is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. I think one thing people run into, and even when we were watching David Lay's video, if you're like sitting around doing nothing, then it might kind of get hard because then you're just. You don't really, you're not doing anything, nothing's occupying your time or your attention span or anything, so you're probably going to be thinking about food since you haven't eaten. Yeah. So we're just going to try and stay We're definitely going to be pretty being, occupied. We're going to be staying very active and just doing a bunch of stuff so that we don't really have to think about food and we're just getting a bunch yeah. of stuff done. We're being productive. That's really the best way to live. You're just, I'm sure the mental clarity is going to kick in. We're going to have this boost of energy. That's the way I imagine this 48 hours going. However, it could go the opposite way and I could be just starving and just uh, irritated the whole time. Who knows? So we're going to figure it out together. So excited for this journey. Almost done with my protein shake and my peanut butter. And then we're going to start the timer to the 48 hour mark, boys. Let's go. Time. Boys, down to the last sip and the last lick of the peanut butter, I guess. So last calories for the next two days. Got to soak it up. Mm. Uh, delicious vision protein right there. But anyways, the special guest star Roger could do it. Now this is it. This is it, boys. Lock in. It is also we're in six twenty one p.m. Yeah, six twenty one on Thursday. So we will be eating at six twenty two on Saturday. So Probably at Sushi Master. So I'll be seeing you there. See y'all in the morning. All right, YouTube, we're back. 22 hours in, it's been it's been pretty easy. Like it's honestly, been, not to lie, this has been super easy. So that's why we didn't even show you guys most of it because we've just been in flow state. As soon as we woke up, we just started doing things. So 
until sunrise, meditated, straight to our client work. We were, I made programs. I know you were probably working yeah. on your clients. I was hopping on calls all day, calls. so reading so, the Bible in between calls, yeah. trying to just keep as much attention away from just not doing nothing. Because if you're doing nothing, then it's going to be probably a little more difficult because then you're thinking about who It's really all mental or not because hunger is a state of mind. And so if it's not on your mind, then you can't be in that state. You just gotta be busy, honestly. So we've been doing a bunch of shit. Now we're 22 hours in, we're getting ready to go to the gym. We are reading the Bible and we wanted some motivation and we're reading the story where Jesus had to fast for 40 days in the desert and was being tempted by the devil like the entire 40 days. And then he took him to the top of the mountain. He saw the entire kingdoms and he was like saying, I'll give you all these kingdoms if you worship me. And Jesus was literally fasted the entire time. You could understand like such a terrible mindset he was probably in. And the devil was tempting him with the world. And he was saying, like, I'll give you all of this if you just worship me. And he was like, no, the only one I'm going to worship is the Lord, the God. And he said, he said that and it really is super motivating because even though he's being tempted, even though like he probably was starving, he said, nah. I'm going to worship God no matter what. And it says in the middle of that story, it says, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So you really don't even need food if you are fully faithful in God's plan and you can know that you can do everything through Christ and through God. That's wild. Yeah. You really don't even need food at all. I mean, we can go a month without you eating and still survive. So it's yeah. just, so it's just it's like, crazy what our body can really that. do. So it's just like... Are we supposed to be waking up and hungry? Are we supposed, is that like, think about it, it could be an addiction. You don't even need this kind of food, but we can survive off of it. I'm not saying just don't eat anymore, but you know, use fasting as a tool to like kind of level up your mindset and level up your spirit at the same time. Get closer to God because it does talk about in the fasting, that fasting is a spiritual kind of like practice that you kind of use to get closer to God and just make strengthen your soul especially because if you have a strong soul and you have a strong mind then so the, mind never matter. it's, it's literally and you're going to go as far as your soul and mind can take you because your body is being controlled by your mind so you got to strengthen those up so that you can take your body to the next rep to the extra set to the extra you know whatever it may be that you're trying to accomplish that may seem impossible it is not with god i promise you it's not by the way Check out this new hoodie. That it literally says that exact quote I just said. Literally, it is what is impossible with man is possible with God. Think about that for a second. That was sick, boys. Figure it out. Drop Drop in August second, so be ready. Code Alpha. Hey, code Alpha is the only code you guys should be using. Figure Most it out. Most abused code in Static Boys. Go run it up, guys. I appreciate all of you guys and the love. Anyways, we seen you guys at the gym. Any other words from you guys? Alright, I was ready to get dialed in. We got, we might pop some pump caps mm -hmm. for a little pump, help with the workout, but I'm super excited to see how the workout's gonna go fasted, honestly. I mean, we've trained nothing fasted before, water. nothing to like this extent, but you know, we've woken up in the morning, done whatever work for a few hours, and then go get a workout on no meals. Workouts are always great. So, you know, I'm pretty interested to see, by the time we pull up to the gym, we're gonna be training when we're at like the 24 hour window. So, that's gonna let's be crazy. A full day without food, gonna hit a chest day. Hopefully super high points. good. I think the pump will be great because tomorrow will probably be a little more flat and depleted from no food, but today we should just be just fine. The chest pump should be awesome. Anyways, so. let's fucking run it. Copy See the killer. vision. See you guys at the gym. Yo, boys, we're here at Alpha Land right now. We're in gym two. We're gonna hit some chest today. Feeling energetic, feeling great. We're gonna pop some pump caps. I'm only gonna be taking two because that's all I really need. We're gonna two for me. Right now, and our bodies entered autophagy, which means our cells are literally repairing itself as we speak, being reborn into brand new cells because they're dying off, and now it's time for us to get even stronger as a human being. Because now our body is going to be forced to work under pressure, has no food, has no idea when it's going to get food, so it's going to become the strongest that it could possibly become because it has no idea what the heck is about to happen in the next 24 hours. And 
we're gonna be fasting for the next 24 hours. So let's buckle in. We're at this half point, halfway marker. We're gonna kill this workout. Let's get into the fucking montage, baby. Right? No, let's go. Pump is crazy right now. Like, I didn't even expect this to be honest. Like, this workout is just going phenomenal. I'm having a great time. I'm feeling alive. One of the best workouts ever, bro. This is amazing. I feel great. I feel shredded, and I still feel strong. I'm using the yeah. same weight I normally do in all my workouts. So, yeah, same. It hasn't really changed that much. Again, the pump is like very surprisingly. I'm feeling full. We, we haven't even hit an exercise in like five minutes, and yeah. we still have a fucking nasty pump, bro. It's yeah, we were filming TikToks and shit so you guys can see us fasting. But halfway through the workout, we're gonna continue, and then we're gonna let you guys know what our thoughts at the end of the workout, how it was, and everything. So this is just the midway pump, baby. Let's go. Down, halfway baby. through. Remember, boys, if it's not tough, then what? What are you even doing? If it's not difficult and you're not growing, then what? Are you just literally wasting your time, bro? So you gotta think about where am I gonna want to be in the next ten moves, the next ten moments, the next ten years. You gotta think ahead, boys. So if you're doing the hard shit now, it's only setting yourself up for victory in the end game. So life is chess, you're literally him, boys. Tomorrow morning, so see y'all then. You did good. 
it say? It's a smash. All right, boys, we are currently 36 hours into our 48 hour fast. Currently waiting for that sun to rise, grounding, and reading the Bible. It is a beautiful morning, and if you guys need help getting out of bed in the morning, need some motivation, we got you. Proverbs 21 verse 25, the desire of the slothful killeth him for his hands refuse to do labor. You guys have to have discipline. You have to be willing to do the little hard things in life to keep moving forward. You have to find your purpose. Or you're gonna die. Not literally die, but your highest potential is literally gonna get killed by laziness. So you gotta win, you gotta be the conqueror, you gotta be the victor, because today is a new day. And another verse that God said was to let us rejoice in it. No matter what's happening around us, may be hard, may be difficult, we may feel tired, whatever, but we can be thankful for that day that we're in it, that we're even alive breathing, not everyone's alive breathing. So use that blessing of breath to go out and create something for yourself and other people, guys. And that's the message for today. And remember that God made us in his image and likeness. So let's show him the beauty of his own creation. Yeah, let's do it. All right, boys, we're here at the gym. We got six hours left of this 48 hour fast. Kind of starting to feel like the fatigueness a bit, but like we're here, we're gonna get this ab workout in. We got a ride to sit behind the camera. We're peaking right now, baby. Right now. This ab workout's gonna be crazy. We're gonna push through this last workout, earn our meal. We're gonna eat sushi tonight. Super excited for that sushi. I cannot wait to have that first bite. Hi, right, bro. I think it's like 120 degrees yeah, outside. It's also, super hot in the firmament. It feels amazing, though. The sun's giving us the energy, I think, that we need. Get into this ad workout, finish up with some maybe frisbee or cardio. We'll see what happens. We'll see whatever we have energy for. And then, we'll go eat that fucking sushi, baby. We're so ready. Boys, also, check out this fish. This is crazy. This is actually the back of the shirt, but I flipped it around because I don't care. I think it looks hard like this. This is the front of the Shoot. shorts. Aesthetic boys. Dropping August 2nd, boys. Be ready. Turn around. We'll picture on the back. Shoot. It's the best out there, baby. Also. Go crazy, baby. John 4-4. Four, four. The giant in front of you is never bigger than the God inside of you. Figure it out. Do him. All that means, guys, is Holy Spirit is literally running through you. The life that you have right now, infinite. You just gotta figure it out. And you can defeat any beast that's in front of you, no matter what's going on, no matter how much the odds are stacked against you. With God on your side, you are unbeatable, guys. Looking at that is more than enough motivation, knowing that I got God inside of me and with me on my side, you can literally accomplish anything. We can go another day if we want to. But we might save that for another video, so. Let's fuck this workout. We're in gym one. It was too hot. Way too hot outside. We had to cool down a little bit. I'm here. We're gonna hit this ab machine. We're gonna do a bunch of sets. Still failure on that because. Just like any other muscle, guys, you just gotta train it like you would train your chest, your legs. You gotta push it so that it can grow. We're honestly hungry, so training abs is even gonna be more. Oh yeah, it feels insane right now on the passive yeah. stomach. Like you really feel your abs contract. Yeah, exactly. It's more like mind muscle connection. Right now, my mind clarity is just through the roof. Rocky. I'm gonna wanna have after we were able to eat sushi and everything is gonna be an energy drink. I don't know which one. But I'm just gonna wanna sip on an energy drink. I don't know why. It just got so good. I might be one tonight. Exactly. Why not? They just taste so good. I don't know why. This is a random craving at the 43 hour mark, guys. Craving an energy drink. Right? You do energy, it's sweet, zero calories. Unfortunately, we're not gonna do that because we're gonna stay strict and not do anything to risk breaking our fast at all. You gotta stay locked in, boys. Got him. All right, guys, we're an hour out. We're literally on the way to sushi as we speak. We're both starving. We're both pretty hungry. We've been working up an appetite for the last two days, so we have not ate a single thing. A single calorie has not been ingested by any one of us in the last 48 hours. 
and we're ready to just peek on some sushi. So we're just gonna kind of just soak in this last hour and just reflecting. Yeah. I think on the last 48 hours, because it's just it's crazy to look back on just to kind of resist the urge of hunger. You know, it's yeah. hunger and food is I think you know the greatest thing that humans can almost kind of feel. So kind of resisting yourself from not eating for 48 hours, just a huge mental test. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, there's just something about. You not eating for that extended amount of time and there's food in front of you. Like we've gone to the grocery store with Justin because we were just shopping and there's just food all around us and our stomach's growling. But we consciously choose to say, no, we're not going to eat that. We're going to eat whenever I say, not whenever my body gets hungry. And then the more you get to do that, the more you train your mind and callous your mind to get stronger instead of you... Say, waking up one day, I'm tired, I'm just gonna stay in bed for another 30 minutes. You say, no, I'm gonna get out of bed and continue to do and stay on my path and continue to create for myself and others. So it just makes you mentally stronger and I just feel like more mentally clear and I feel like more motivated actually now that I'm gonna get food, I'm gonna get a crazy workout in after this. Probably gonna be going on Riser's channel for the aftermath of this crazy, crazy pump of the sushi and we might even have like another refeed tomorrow just to make up for the calories yeah. we lost we're but, down, I'm down a lot I, I think I'm down like six or seven pounds where I was like 206 or yeah. something before we left I was like 213 at the start of this so it's crazy definitely gonna be refeeding and eating probably a, a lot of food and not gonna count any macros just gonna eat this sushi tonight then eat a lot of food tomorrow as well and just really get that body back to normal yep we'll see y'all at sushi and after that, we're probably gonna go into a food coma, so, yo, big time. Guys, the moment is finally here. We finished and completed the 48 hour fast. It is now 6.22, exactly 48 hours from when we last ate. We just wrote to check. We're ready to eat some sushi. The sushi's all here. We're gonna honestly enjoy this last supper. I'm so glad you guys, for all of you that stayed on this journey with us, it's been rough. We pushed through. Our body feels amazing. It feels clear. We'll talk to you more about it after we eat. We're honestly starving. This food is about to be no, crazy. Vegan. This is gonna be crazy. So you can go ahead and take the first bite, King. Let's go. How's that? Hey, bottomless tonight, bro. Bottomless. All right, we're hitting a we're hitting a sushi PR, boys. To make you stronger and more aesthetic, we're gonna have to start off with the Geary P7. 